Tropical Storm Elsa's high winds, heavy rains and storm surge had catfish on the streets and street cats in the water early Wednesday. Work crews in Tarpon Springs also hit low lying neighborhoods to clear debris like fallen trees, but it wasn't nearly as bad as some had feared. It was typical of a big storm, but not a hurricane, so we're OK. Might as well come down, see if there's anything wrong or whatever. Florian McCosh came out before the sunrise to check on his family's souvenir shop along Tarpon's iconic sponge docks. In the past, as he showed us in this picture, storms would bring waist high water to the intersection, even into the store. But this time, they managed to stay dry. There was nothing wrong with it, so it was all good. Still, even as Elsa moved north, it wasn't as much the rain and wind, but the high tide and storm surge that threatened people's property and businesses. Despite a recent drainage project, police had to close off roads as Elsa's storm surge pushed water over seawalls and into the streets. I hope you can better get when the tide goes down so we'll see how far it's going to come in. The storm surge is going to affect us. In all, Pinellas and Pasco County both reporting minimal impact from Elsa. Clearly, you can see some localized flooding, some trees down in the area, but no reports of any major damage or any major injury.